Sell out. Blacks make us all look bad. Now, I'm going to cut you people a lot of slack because since you're in college, you're probably, you know, in your late teens, early 20s. So you don't know better. You want to be part of a movement. You want to fight for black people. But let me spell this out to you. Abortion is the number one cause of preventable death in the black community. Probably the number one cause of death, period. Prescription pills kill many. Psychiatric medications kill over a half a million people annually in Western countries. So this idea of a holistic inclusion for all constituents, fine. But you talk about aligning yourself to Planned Parenthood and thanking them, thanking them. You're thanking them for being a major contributor to the leading cause of death in the black community. How sick is that? And you talk about the patriarchy, and I assume you got this from feminists or communists, or both. You need to look up Fabian socialists, or Fabians. Their symbol is wolves in sheep's clothes. Now let me make this absolutely clear because I don't think you understand. A 2007 Pew Research Center forum on research, excuse me, on religion and public life showed, you know, a survey, landscape survey, it showed that 87% of blacks are affiliated with a religion. Over half of blacks are Christians. Okay. 79% of blacks say their religion is a very important part in their life. It's very important in their life. So, you tell me. You tell me how you represent black people. And the idea that black lives matter. If you don't represent our philosophies. And you represent a white man's school of thought. Communism. Not Semitic. But white. You're pushing white social norms. White socialist social norms. You're putting the social part of white social norms in white social norms. And then you might say, well, you know, Christianity was given to us by the white man. Black people are inherently spiritual. I wonder what Shaka Zulu would have said about your patriarchy. He would have said nonsense. He would have said that he is the paramount king and the king is supposed to rule over his subjects. I wonder what Narmer of Egypt would have said. Mentuhotep. The majority of pharaohs in Egypt were, bl were black men. And on top of that, the women were not respected. Some were killed because they weren't accepted by the priesthood. Cleopatra committed suicide. African societies are disproportionately patriarchal. So how do you commie feminist weaklings represent black people? My father is a brain surgeon, Ben Carson is a brain surgeon, and both of them are Christians. I'm the top martial artist in America, and I am a Christian. So you tell me how attacking the quote-unquote patriarchy is standing up for black rights. You know, if you want to represent some kind of feminist movement, have, have this picture, you know, without being crossed out on your shirt. Don't have a black fist because you don't represent me, brothers and sisters. You don't represent black people, brothers and sisters. You represent controlled opposition. For these people, these people, psychiatry, and Zionists in the media. Marx was an atheist who descends from Jews, from Ashkenazi Jews, like most of the people who own the media in Hollywood. Now, when you first do the research, it's not gonna show that, but when you really dig deeply, you will see that these things are disproportionately controlled by Zionists and atheist Jews. So how do you represent black people when Zionist Jews dump out Ethiopian blood in Israel, how do you represent black people 
when you support Marx, who when he insulted people, the people he hated most, he called them Jews with Negro blood, dirty Jews with Negro blood. Your ideas come from racist white people from Germany, racist Ashkenazi Jews from Germany. Feminism is not a black school of thought, it is a white one. Communism is not a black school of thought, it is white is a white one. Spirituality and believing in a male deity that rules all is African and the African way. Anything else is nonsense. How do you represent black people? By supporting gays and feminists who want to break down the family structure. Keep blacks from reproducing. Make the woman a very bitchy way trying to be a man fighting with other bitches ripping their weaves out.